Well, we're really, really pleased to be um, bringing this water quality conference um, to the industry today because what we've got here is every, it's all the experts from all the different companies coming together to collaborate on clearly something which is critically important to the industry. So very, very pleased to have, have set this up in participation with, with WWT. And I think what I've heard this morning, interestingly already, but I'm sure we'll hear it as we go throughout the day, is just how much that collaboration is valued you know, the shared learning, you know, the whole, um, I guess, understanding of water quality being impacted right the way from its source, through its treatment, and then through to the customer. There are many, many challenges and many different ways of looking at things, but if we understand and learn from each other, and if we share that best practice, then we've got the best possible chance, all of us together, of providing fantastic, wholesome, water that is good for health and is you know in which the public have got confidence which is ultimately the goal. I think it's essential that water companies are looking at cattle management solutions and at water treatment solutions as well. With water treatment you get you get uh, you get certainty so you understand the contaminant you're trying to deal with, you build a treatment process, you 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 nail it basically you remove it. There's less certainty when it comes to cattle management, but in terms of its sustainability and the way forward and actually protecting the source before it enters your treatment works has got to be the way forward. Well, I think it's really important because uh, laboratory testing has been really valuable. It's helped the industry really get uh, sustainable, uh, sustainable improvements. But of course, you can't test for everything. You can't test for the plane falling out of the sky. You can't test for fires on uh, catchment. So it's important to do both. It's, part, it's important still, but it's part of a wider toolbox. Well, I think uh, one of the most interesting topics this morning was really discussions about the, the emerging macro pollutant, especially metaldehyde. So metaldehyde is one of these really challenging pesticides to remove and it was good to have the opportunity of discuss the different type of treatment. It was mentioned chemical oxidation, which is really generating a lot of byproducts, which are potentially as harmful as the main compound you want to remove. But it was also an opportunity to talk about the adsorption technologies using powder activity carbon, which we've tried to, to promote because it's a great opportunity, it's a great tool to achieve this very low consent of metaldehyde below 0.1 microgram per liter. But generally speaking, the, the discussion about all the uh, endocrine disruptor compounds, this macro pollutant coming from the pharmaceutical product we're using our daily life, which eventually translates into the river on being able to appreciate the impact on maybe the treatment which may be required to remove them from the drinking water supply was also very interesting. We're trying to look for great customer outcomes here and we shouldn't necessarily just be focused on uh, absolute compliance on particular areas. We're looking for what customers are after, which is you know, a great water product coming from their tap. Um, and having the confidence uh, and the trust in the services that are being provided and the people that are providing that.